Okay, Empire Magazine recently ran a feature on the future of the Transformers movies, and thanks to Transformers World, who followed up on that story, we now know that the new Bumblebee spinoff movie... No, no it's, his name's Bumble. Oh. What I'm you? kidding, I'm kidding. I was no, like, Bumble. Riley? <laughs> Seven Bumble. Sorry. Seven Bumble. Seven meters down starring Bumble. Yes. <laughs> okay. We now know that the new Bumblebee spin-off movie will take place in the 1980s. Director Travis Knight's prequel will also not be as busy or as large as Michael Bay's Transformers movies, but rather will focus on a lighter tone with fewer robots and a return to the boy and his car storyline introduced in the first movie. Haley Steinfeld will reportedly play a tomboy who also holds a job as a mechanic after school, she where does. she comes in contact with Bumblebee. The movie is gearing up for production now with a release date set for June 8th, 2018. David, do you buy or sell the Bumblebee movie taking place in the 80s? It's tough. I feel like Transformers always sucks me in. It's like a big vortex. It just <laughs> sucks me into everything it does. I always go see the movies and I always leave disappointed. No, uh, I, I buy it. I buy it. I buy it for a few reasons. Travis Knight, uh, because of what we did with Kubo and the Two Strings. That was one of my favorite films last year. I enjoyed that. I, I think Haley Seinfeld is going to be one of the best I think she's one of the better actresses, young actresses out there right now. It's mm. Edge of 17. Was she did last year. Fantastic. She can hold her own, and we know she's talented. So if she's with the right crew, this is going to be the first Transformers movies that we've had without Michael Bay as the lead director. So maybe it's going to be something different. You know, maybe we're going to see something new here. I, I have to hope that the 80s is cool, because that's when Transformers came out. We're also getting DuckTales is coming back on TV from the 80s. I mean, <laughs> it's a reemergence sure. of the 80s. The 80s is in right now. Stranger Things, like, 80s is, is cool right now. So I'm, I'm definitely buying this. Sell. No. Christian. No, no reason why. <laughs> yeah, All right, exactly. well, then I'll counter. Um, I, I'm going to buy it. I, I, I'll I'm let a, you guys carry this. Yeah, well, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to tell you that I think that there is – I know your, your thoughts on it, and what I, will, mm. what I will say is that I think that all your concerns as far as the fact that it's, it's an 80s movie with, with Bumblebee and it's what, – what are we going to do? Are we just going to play a nostalgia here? Why Bumblebee to be the one that leads? And I don't disagree. I don't disagree with that, I think. But – it really intrigued me to see what can be done when Michael Bay is in directing one of these things. It could be an absolute disaster. It might not be that great at all. But and I still and I said it when they announced Haley Steinfeld, who I love. I don't want the human to be the lead. I want the Transformers to be the lead. Now, if this turns out to be an ET movie, it's like they've done a million times before with the alien and and the friend, it's essentially what they did in the first Transformers mm -hmm. movie anyway. Um, if it's just that and there's no other Transformers, I don't know if I'm going to love it. But if I think that they actually make a Transformers movie that I've wanted to see, and they and they put it in the '80s when the movie came out with some, fun, like he's going to be that Volkswagen. Just like, oh hell, uh, he better be. He's gonna be. And and he, and he, this movie's in the '80s, and it's a Bumblebee yeah. movie. If Bumblebee ain't a VW, mm. I don't even know I'm gonna go see this. Well, thing. I see it <laughs> better be a bug. Look, I really like Travis Knight, is that, and yeah. who, who yeah. directed, it, and he did Cuban Two Strings. I think the what he did emotionally with that film could be very interesting with this. So I'm very curious, and it has a lot to do. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be completely honest. It has a lot to do with the fact that Michael Bay. He's gonna produce it. I'm sure have some kind of saying it that way. But he's not directing it, and mm -hmm. I want to see what a Transformers movie looks like without Michael Bay. Now it should be noted too. We're seeing, we're seeing the new Transformers movie Monday. on Monday. Monday, yeah. And I, I mean, look, keep everything the possibilities open. There's a chance we walk out of that movie loving it. And then all of a sudden, that may change our perception of the entire franchise. So let's keep our minds open to that as well, mm. and we'll see what happens. All right, what's next?